before. That's Hesperalo, and this is Hesperalo right behind you, okay? The thing that I want you to know about Hesperalo or red yucca, okay, they have these strap-like, sword-like leaves, all right? But they're very much rounded on the back side. They're very sort of rigid. And then they're concave on the front. So basically water just runs right down them into the base of the plant, okay? You'll also notice that on the edges of the, these leaves, especially during the winter time, the tips have sort of died back. Sometimes they'll be a little sharper than this. But uh, also, this filamentous uh, material here, basically it looks like somebody went around along the edges and just pulled some thread off, okay? So that's a way to be able to tell uh, red yucca. Foliage up to three to four foot tall, typically somewhere between two and three foot tall. And then uh, you can notice on, that one got the one. Oh, yeah. uh, stock will be sometimes one and a half to twice that tall. The stock will actually be a light pink in the summer when it comes out. And then the, uh, the flowers on it will either be that same color pink or to sometimes sort of a red, uh, light red. So saying red yucca, it would be probably more appropriate to call it pink yucca but at any rate. Right? Isn't there a variety? Too? There is. The same species, just 